Katya, what do you love about yellow? What's not to love about yellow? <laughs> everything. I mean, it's just such a... You know, I think yellow goes with everything. It, you pretty much can't screw up if you're wearing yellow. Or painting with yellow, or knitting with yellow, or eating something yellow. What do you recommend? What are the best yellow food? Oh, bananas. Lemons are the best yellow food. What is this, Larry? I a piece of cardboard on the way here, and I got bored. So you drew on it? So you drew an evil Skeletor eating chicks? Yes. Digging chicks? Yes. I dig chicks. Rawr. <laughs> How are you, Larry? I've been better. I actually can't stay too long. No, so I'm glad wrong? you're here. I, I came up here and I kind of got to do a few other things before I go. I got to do catch a bus around like 8.30. Should we find somewhere to put your art, like in one of the rooes? Uh, yeah, you want to contrib contribute want, to one of the galleries? Why not? You, can, you guys can have it. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. Thanks. Do you want it? Yeah. So Hey, you have to be a public personality if you're going to run for mayor again. Yeah. All of Philadelphia. No comment? No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. What, this is your comment, right? What does it say? No comment? The bang and the bang. So you did, that, you did a version. Some this is his art. This is Larry's art. Yeah, Larry. I wasn't even thinking when I was like, like do something. You're like, um, you're like the Shepherd Fairy lover. No. But say you're a hater, but you're a lover. No, more like a cousin or something. Yeah. That's no, but you should see his, you should I, see his I, illustrations. Well, the thing about this week, Shepherd amazing. Fairy basically just took some constructionism, an idea of propaganda, or it made it popular, and that's basically it. Yeah. Sure. Therefore, anyone doing said style automatically be by default to people, which were called Shepherd Fairy. But really, they're just ripping off the Russian constructionists from the turn of the 19th century. <laughs> I don't know if they're ripping also, them off. Yeah, more like they, they live. Do it homage or in the style of whatever. Emulating. It's, Emulating, yeah. Have you seen They Live? A little movie? Actually, from the no. 80s? I wanted to. If you see that, you see Shepard Fairy ripped off that movie. And Why am I not so. That's the thing, like, he literally just ripped It really off. is shocking how blatant his, his play is. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, yeah. Yes. I'm actually working on an idea because Overkill's coming here in May. But this is for the Philadelphia show. Oh. It's like people go, oh, she has a skull. It's not, I mean, it's not just a bloody skull for once. Like, I actually put some thought and effort into the idea. What is the idea? And that's the sad thing. I actually don't know what it is. To a degree, it's like it's one. It's real, it's hard to explain. It's like one of those things where you draw it and it just kind of looks cool, but in, in the back of your mind, you know it means something, but you don't know what it is. I, I mean, I hate being that that esoteric about anything, to be honest. But that's just how it was this time. It's all right. Like there's an inverted cross over here. It's like, oh, it's a skull with an inverted cross. Ha ha ha. Well, well think about this way. The inverted cross was actually a symbol for Saint Peter because when he was crucified, he said, "I do not want to be crucified as my Lord and Savior. I want to be crucified upside down." And Peter was upon which the Catholic Church built because Jesus said to Peter, Peter, you are my rock upon which I built my church, my church upon. So you have a skull with an inverted cross on top of it. I could, for all you know, be talking, saying the Catholicism is a dead church, for all you know, you know? And it's a naked chick, too. So it's like, all right, naked woman, skulls hit, inverted cross. What am I actually saying in this case? The quality's a million times better. Uh, wait, I actually got the thumbnail Chicks in here. like to get nugged. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, uh, I was waiting for someone to get that one. Um, I've been invited to be part of a group show in May at Gallery Hannah Hu. I think that's how you say it. It's actually here in New York, which is great. And I will be doing probably something to do with giant knitted sea creatures. Maybe just one. But I, I'd really like to make like a statement piece for it and um, a couple other fiber artists that are somewhat famous around the United States now will be in it, like Jenny Hart and 
stuff. The girl who is curating it, her name is Kristen Rask, and she has a store in Seattle called Schmanzy, and it's next to Nancy and Fancy uh, in downtown Seattle, and it's a really great place, and uh, everyone should go check it out. Would this suggest that like fiber art is becoming more popular? Oh, I think so, definitely. I, I think the gallery actually focuses on fiber arts as their main goal. They had an exhibit recently where they featured this Japanese man crafting club, and I think it was called like Yo Craft in Japanese. It was really cool, and this guy did like all kinds of little toys and things, but he did he he was like very rough, like he used IKEA bags and like kind of throw away refuse type things to make to re to like repurpose them into something more functional and it was like little stuffed animals and kinds of like little little doodads and creatures. It was really cool. And they had a they have a show um, up on uh, up currently called Owls Have More Fun and it's it's a silk screen um, Dishes, and I think I think the concept is, you know, like a night owl, or using the owl as the icon for being a night owl, like a person who stays up late. And uh, the woman that did it, I think she's Swedish, maybe, and she did she did like little pom poms and yarn things that are attached to the to the dishes, and dishes have little little drawings on them. And there's also a rug, and uh, the entire wall is like this silk screen owl iconography thing. And do you have any knitting in your bag? Yes, I have knitting in my bag. Of course, I always have knitting in my bag. I was gonna say. Uh, I have some. I have some of this. This is actually my not this specific color, but purple is my new new favorite color. It's my, it's my color du jour. Contrasting uh, to yellow. Yellow right? is still my favorite by far, but. I think I think yellow and purple go really well together. So I don't know, and I'm just I think I just wanted to make something that was really soft and cozy. Okay. And I kind of I can't keep my hands still for too long, so it helps helps me to have the knitting in my bag with me always. Yeah. Uh.